Let's get to our final off-the-record parting shots for this week. Predictions for the weeks ahead, perhaps. Gene Krebs, you're up first. Um, uh, Daryl West of Brookings has come out recently with a book about the impact of billionaires on American politics. I plan on getting a copy. Uh, Daryl is probably one of the top six most influential political scientists in America and was raised three farms north of me and is a year younger than me. I've known <laughs> Daryl all my life, and I'm going to put a plug in for a childhood bud. All right. Sam. I think the debacle that is going to be the November election provides an opportunity for the Democratic Party to restructure itself uh, and using radical tools and radical ideas because they're in the can until 2020 anyway. So uh, with new ideas and new approaches, they have nothing to lose. Daryl. I think I probably did this the last time, Mike, but I, I just think uh, I, maybe it's my editorial opinion here. Uh, it is a sad state when this state doesn't have a discussion of the issues of, of education, education funding, uh, you know, things we've been talking about here, things that you talk about every week on your show should be talked about by our elected officials, regardless of who's ahead in the polls or behind or whatever. I think we, we deserve a, a full airing of that. And it's not just debates, you know, talk to the media, talk to the public. Laura. Uh, you never know what you're going to see at the Ohio State House. This past week, the, um, there were a bunch of protesters um, uh, against circumcision. Uh, it was rather graphic. Uh, but I, I wanted to note that while there's plenty of bills pending dealing with lady parts, there are no uh, bills pending having to deal with boy parts. I'm grateful. Interesting. I'm grateful. Um, First, I want to welcome, we have a delegation of Serbian lawmakers watching the show from the control room today, this week. So we welcome them and wish them well as they travel across the country, learning from us, learning what to do and perhaps what not to do when it comes to political discourse. And I'm going to predict that there will be a gubernatorial debate. I think that, you know, hard to say, but I think that the, call, the calls for a debate will get louder and they'll have one low-key debate close to the election that, that the Governor Kasich and Ed Fitzgerald will meet on the same stage, but who knows. That's Columbus on the Record for this week. Check us out online, Twitter, Facebook, our website, wosu.org slash C-O-T-R. For our crew and for our panel, I'm Mike Thompson. Have a good week.